Hey guys, Predzilla here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about some more Godzilla figure news. We don't have much for today, and we don't really have anything really too exciting. But nonetheless, jumping right into it, the first thing that we have for today is that we have new Mondo Godzilla 1984 and Hedorah figures revealed. I believe Mondo did a Godzilla 1984 and a Hedorah figure before, so I don't know if these are like new variants of the figures or not. I know for sure that they did a Hedorah, but I'm not entirely sure about the Godzilla 1984. But nonetheless, the Godzilla 1984 is about 7.5 inches tall and will be about $95. The Hedorah figure is about six inches tall and will be about $85. These are limited to about 300 each and only one per person purchase. These are available now for pre-order on mondoshop.com if they are not already sold out because I tried looking for them and I could not find them and Mondo Shop Search is not really that good because like you search something like I typed in Godzilla and search for it and it wouldn't search for anything so I'm not sure what was up with that. So I do not know if they are sold out or not. But next we have is we have a U2's collab with Legendary and Toho for Godzilla vs Kong. Which is pretty odd because considering U2s makes figures of like YouTubers and whatnot, hence why their name is U2s. But we have Godzilla vs. Kong Seas Duel, which features both Godzilla and Kong on the aircraft carrier. Although Godzilla and Kong in the packaging are kind of like switched around. So it looks kind of odd because Godzilla is from like what we know in the movie and in images and whatnot. Godzilla is on the left side of the aircraft carrier while Kong is on the right side, but on this it's vice versa, which looks odd. But, I mean, obviously once you have a figure in hand, you can just flip it around to make it look better, but in the packaging it's, it's wrong, so it's infuriating. <laughs> but anyways, the carrier is about two inches tall. Godzilla and Kong are about three inches tall, so in total that means it is five inches tall. And if you didn't know that, then I don't know. I guess you're not good at math. But anyways, next we have is the Godzilla 2021 Heat Ray version, or Atomic Breath version, if you want to be more better at pronouncing it, but whatever they want to make it official heat ray because that apparently sounds better but anyways that one is about four inches tall and is my favorite out of all the ones that we have and seems to be a bam exclusive which is pretty cool uh, next we have is the kong 2021 on throne version which obviously has kong sitting on his throne this one is about 4.1 inches tall and uh, looks pretty cool. The pre-orders for each begin September 10th, 2021. The release is January 21st through the 28th, which not really sure how that works, but yeah, I guess it's January 21st to the 28th of 2022. And the price for each is about $30. Lastly, for today, we have new X Plus Deferil Godzilla vs. Hedora Bullmark colored version, which not entirely sure what that means, but either way, looks pretty cool. Statues revealed, and this is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Godzilla vs. Hedora. My favorite out of the two is Hedora because Hedora kind of is like looks thermal ish, and that reminds me of Predator and uh, that is why I like that. But the colors reminded me of NECA, which ma ma makes me miss the NECA Godzilla figures, but whatever. The set will release February 2022 and will be about $91, which 
I'd say is a pretty decent price for two X plus D for real Godzilla figures. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know about anything that you thought in the comments down below. About anything that I covered for today. But like I said, wasn't really anything too big or exciting. But I figured I would report on these anyways. Because it is that time of the week when I usually make the weekly updates on figure news or movie news or whatever. But... I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.